How's it going you guys? I'm Landon and welcome back to a brand new most amazing top 10 video. So Netflix has revolutionized the entertainment industry. Netflix is an insanely popular media streaming service that is full of binge worthy shows and movies but they have also created their own original series. So let's take a look at the top 10 best Netflix original series. So starting us off on this list at number 10 we have Master of None. Aziz Ansari writes and stars in the hilarious sitcom that deals with the pressures of everyday life. Life. His character takes on everything from dating apps, cultural stereotypes, and trying to figure out his own goddamn life. It is absolutely hilarious, and there are two seasons of it currently on Netflix waiting for you guys to enjoy it. So what are you waiting for? Moving on to number nine on this list, we have the unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. This is a comedy show about a woman who escapes a doomsday cult after living 15 years in an underground bunker. So Kimmy Schmidt is a 30 year old woman who moves to New York after being rescued and we watch her as she tries to live in the modern world. She is only accustomed to the culture from the 90s so it's actually hilarious to try to see her adapt to the fast paced New York. This show should definitely be on your list of TV shows to binge watch. Daredevil makes its way onto this list at number 8. This Marvel series is darker and more brutal than the film franchise and it stays true to the tone of the comics. This live action series follows the journey of Matt Murdock who is a blind attorney that has extraordinary senses. He has his own practice in New York where he now fights against villains. So I guess you can say he's a respectable lawyer by day and a masked vigilante at night. Now at number 7 we have Bojack Horseman. I haven't seen this show myself but apparently it's both hilarious and addictive. This is an adult animated series that follows the success and struggles of Bojack who is just a washed up TV actor from the 90s. In this series Bojack is trying to reinvent his career and according to reviews it is clever and hilarious mockery of Hollywood and celebrity culture but it also sheds light on alcohol abuse and depression. Narcos makes its way onto this list at number 6. This is a show that focuses on the rise and the fall of the Colombian drug lord Pablo Escobar and the Medellin drug cartel. This series incorporates a lot of actual news footage about Escobar and his involvement with the drug trade that spread cocaine from South America into the United States in the 1980s. So if you guys are a history buff you would absolutely love this show and if you're not a history buff you're still gonna absolutely love this show because it's very dramatic. You don't know what's coming next. Well you kind of do because it's, it's already been written in history. Next up number five we have The Keepers. This is one of Netflix's longest true crime documentaries that focuses on the unsolved 1960 and murder of the nun and school teacher Kathy Kesnick. Her story brings up allegations about abuse from priests at a Catholic high school in Baltimore, Maryland. And it is full of mystery, deceit, and violence. There are 7 episodes so you definitely should binge watch it and you can definitely binge watch it in a day. House of Cards deals itself into number 4. This is a Netflix first original content and it still remains as one of the most addictive series. Kevin Spacey stars as the congressman who is out for revenge who works his way up the ranks of the American political ladder. He is out to seek a vengeance on those who wronged him including his own cabinet members and the president of the United States himself. And no we're not talking about D Donald Trump. I've heard nothing but good things about this show but let me know what do you guys think of this show? What do you think about any of these shows? What are you guys watching on Netflix? Let me know in the comment section below. Sliding into number 3 is Orange is the New Black. This is a show that takes place in a minimum security federal female prison and it focuses around a privileged New York woman who was arrested for a past crime that she committed almost a decade ago. This show is pretty hilarious but it can also be a little bit brutal at times. I would definitely recommend that you guys give this show a watch and you guys get to get over like the nudity at the beginning. You see some like boobs. I think I just encourage a lot of you guys to go watch it. Okay Making a Murderer makes its way onto this list at number 2. One of my favorite, actually this is my favorite show on Netflix. It's more of like, this is a true story guys. This is a true story about a man who served nearly two decades in jail for a crime that he didn't commit. But he was later exonerated because of new DNA evidence. Shortly after his release he was arrested again but this time he was arrested for murder. But the question is did he do it? We're not sure yet because we're waiting on season 2 here. Finally number 1 Stranger Things. This is a series set in the 1980s. I just finished watching it. It is so damn good. This is about a young boy who vanishes in a small town when his friends do some detective work on their own. They uncover a bunch of mysterious things 
involving secret experiments, supernatural forces, and one strange little girl. So if you're into horror sci-fi, I would definitely recommend this to you guys. So season two releases in October. So it depends on when you guys watch this video. Well, there you guys have it. Thank you so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys very soon in a new video.